Well, welcome back to a, another Jake Davison video. Today is a little bit different. We're not fishing today. We are discussing VHF radios. I love having a radio because I like having a little chat, seeing what's going on. It's just worth mentioning you do need a license to use a marine VHF radio. Um, I think it's the RYA. Uh, I'll just put the website below, but I think it's pretty sure RYA uh, certificate. Once you get that, it's about 90 quid. You know, go with a few mates or whatever. Um, pass that and then legally you can use the VHF radio. Obviously this is going to suit more kayak anglers and boat anglers um, as, a, as a radio video. However, if you're a shore angler, and there's lots of you, and ooh, you've all got radios, a VHF radio is a fantastic way to have a, have a chat, see what everyone's catching, and they're not actually that expensive. I didn't want to spend £200, £150, £400 even, on a radio for when I go kayaking. But I needed it to be waterproof, so I had a look online, looked on some reviews, and found something interesting. My old radio, which was a Bofeng something or other, fantastic reviews, it wasn't waterproof. So the issue with that is if I went in the water, it was going to be as useful as a chocolate teapot. So I looked at the version, which is slightly better, which is a Bofeng UV 9R+. Plus. UV9R Plus. That is a waterproof radio. It's rated uh, to an IP67 uh, level, which I'll talk about a little bit later and what that means. Which meant I could use it on my kayak safely and have a guess. It only costs £23.99 on eBay. Link will be below. So £23.99, I thought, absolute bargain. If it lasts two years, who cares? It's £23.99. You can just Keep buying them every few years but the reviews are absolutely fantastic thousands of people use these radios and it's a lovely bit of kit it's got a great feel to it and it's really easy to use once you've set it up so in this video i'm going to show you how to set this radio to uk marine frequencies so i'm going to show you the website you're going to get up and uh, they tell you all about the international vhf channels and it tells you the frequencies which you need to program the radio onto so I believe these radios are cheap, not because they're not well made, not because they're not good radios, because they're fantastic radios, I've, I've used them before. They're just as good as any other, you know, Icon radio, Cobra radio, they're, they're good as them all. Um, I just believe that these are cheaper because they haven't, they're not already programmed, so you've got to program them yourself. So I'm gonna take you now to the unboxing part of the video, show you what's in the box, then we're gonna get on to how to program this radio to Marine UK channel. So you can go out on your kayak or on your boat, um, you can, and you, you fall in the water, you desperately need to speak to the Coast Guard, you just punch in 016, channel 16, you're onto UK Coast Guard and you can chat away and they can save your life. So, crucial bit of kit when you're on a kayak or on a boat, but if you're a shore angler, and you've got a couple of mates who are maybe fishing a couple of young, hundred yards apart, get the marine certificate by RYA, grab yourself a VHF radio and you will have a much more fun, sociable session. Right, let's get into the unboxing part of the video and then we'll get into programming the radio. So thank you for watching. If you're here, subscribe to the channel. There's loads and loads of fishing videos you can scroll through and there's loads more to come as well. Cheers. Right, so the unboxing part of the video. Uh, this came within about two, three days of ordering it. Uh, 23.99 on eBay, I shall put the link below. Uh, this is a Bofeng uh, VHF radio, uh, and it's waterproof to IP67. So six is the highest rating for dust and dirt. It goes one to six, so six just means there's zero uh, ingress of dirt, and it will say it, there you go, IP67. Um, and the seven on that IP rating, that set the set that will go up to numbers one to eight. One being obviously yeah, it can't withstand any water whatsoever. Um, and then eight, literally, it can be submerged for as long as it can. At seven, you can submerge it, but only up to a meter for about thirty minutes. But quite frankly, that is all we're going to need it for. Twenty-three ninety-nine. I thought we can't really go wrong with this, so let's have a little look at what comes in the box. Right, instruction manual, which is about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Um, luckily I already know how to program one of these because I had a radio exactly the same as this which wasn't waterproof, worked really well but obviously because it wasn't waterproof, not very good at sea so now I've got the waterproof version got a headset there, probably won't come in very handy but if there's a lot of the guys out at some of the competitions I might put it in I don't think that'll be waterproof but it might be a bit of fun to be able to just click your button and 
have a chat. We'll possibly use that. Got the, the headset there, the actual radio set, which is not too bad. Feels quite nice. One battery. Let's see what's under the plastic. There's lots of loads of little bits which come with this for the price it was in. You've got lanyard, which is important. I put that on my PFD and connect that up. You've got plug with socket. I've got two of these because uh, obviously my old one. A little bit of plastic, which I think another YouTube video on this. No one had any idea what that is, but it's probably a sticker which you stick somewhere. Who knows? Charging unit. One aerial and a belt clip. All right, so we've got the unit there, which is quite quite nice and sturdy. So the battery will will put that up and just set, just simply slides into the back. It's Monty in the background, my air down, giving it all. That is literally straight in. That is so easy. Nice weight to it, actually. Quite nice. Not too bad. The antenna that just screws on to the top, just like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and charge that now for a few hours uh, using the charging unit which it comes with. And um, I'll get into the part of the video where we'll program that for marine VHF channels so you can talk on channel 16 if you need to um, and chat to your mates on other channels which are not for emergency use. So let's get this charged. Right, so I'm now going to show you how to program this radio to UK marine channels. I will take you um, in the link at the bottom. I'll try and somehow get a link into the video, but it'll probably be down below of, uh, of this website here. Now this tells you all of the international VHF channels. This is marine, and it tells you the transmitting frequencies. Now we're gonna do, um, they're all the same, but we're gonna do ship stations, or not, not coast stations, all right? So as you can see, they're all, a lot of them are the same anyway, but we're gonna do ship stations on this one. Um, and you can see here what it's done, what, what they're used by. So you've got used by HM Coast Guard, obviously all the rest you can just use for yourself. Channel 16, Distress, Safety and Calling. And you've got other, you've got Marine and Yacht Clubs which are using uh, Channel 37, UK Coast Guard on Channel 67. And then you've got Selective Calling which is 70, that will ring alarms if someone clicks their DSC button. Now, so, let's program this radio. So, I've already programmed channels 0 and 1 on this, so I'm just going to show you how to program it. I'm going to turn it on. Channel mode. Now, that's her channel mode. We need frequency mode, so go ahead and turn your radio off. If you're on frequency mode, leave it. But if you're not, hold menu. Frequency mode. Frequency mode, right, so... This radio, unfortunately, all the channels are already preset, but they're all wrong for what we need. So we need to go and delete uh, channel number two. So I've done zero and one. We're now going to do number two, as you can see at the top there. So we're going to hit menu. Menu. And we're going to scroll down to delete channel. Right. Hang on. Delete channel. There it is. Menu number 28. We're going to hit menu. Delete channel. Then you're going to put in... 002, because that's the channel we want to look at, uh, and, and save. Right, delete, delete what? Delete the preset menus. Click menu again. Confirm. Confirm, yeah. So now channel two in this memory is now deleted. So this now does not have any preset frequency, but we want it to, obviously. So exit. Right. Go back up to what we need to do now is type in uh, the channel number two. So as we can see on here, as you can see on the screen at the background, it's 156100. One five six one zero zero. One five six zero zero. That's on our bar at the top. Click menu, menu. and just find memory channel. Here we go. So we're gonna hit menu again. Memory channel zero zero two because that's the channel we want to save. Click menu again. Receiving menu. Receiving menu men, uh, memory. So we're going to. I'm going to do a couple of these and I'm going to show you that they've saved. So exit. Let's go down and do number three now. One five six one five zero. One five six one five zero. It's at the top. Menu. Hit menu. Ah, we forgot something, didn't we? 
we need to delete number three. So delete channel again. Delete channel. Hit menu, and then zero zero three, which is delete in the preset menu. Confirmed. Confirmed. All done. Right, and then we can go on to memory channel. Memory channel. Menu. Right, we want to channel three. We're saving zero zero three. Receiving menu. Receiving menu. Memory. That's done. Right, exit. So what we're we doing, let's do number four now. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to show you how to do it, then you can do that yourself. Number four, one, five, six, two hundred. Punch that in. One, five, six, two, zero, zero. Menu. Again, hit menu. Go to delete channel because we need to delete the preset. Delete channel. Click memory and then put zero, zero, four. Hit menu. Confirm. Hit menu again. Delete channel. Sorry, I did, did, already did it. Confirm. Confirm. Right, that's done. And you're going to go up the menu to memory channel. Memory channel. And you're going to go hit 004 because that's what we want to save. Yep. And then receiving memory. click the menu. Right, that's receiving memory. So we'll exit out of that. We're now going to turn this radio off because we're in frequency mode. Off. Hold menu. Hold that down. Keep and then turn it on. Now we're going into channel mode. So let's check, shall we? So we've done, I've done some earlier, okay? So we're going to punch in channel zero. So it's going to be zero, zero, zero. As you can see, one, five, six, zero, zero. We want now channel number one. So zero, zero, one. Zero, zero, one. What's that? It's one, five, six, zero, five, zero. That's correct, isn't it? And then we're just going to check number two's done as well. So zero, zero. 156500. There we go. So that is how simple it is to program it. Obviously you're going to keep you're going to keep going down. So let's pretend now we're in channel mode and you want to go back to programming. Turn the radio off. I'm going to repeat myself a little bit here, but it's just so you get into the pattern of using it. Hold the menu down. Turn on the radio while holding the menu down. Frequency mode. Frequency mode. That means we can put the frequencies in and do what we want to do with them. So we're up to number four, I believe. So we want to do number five now. As you can see there, one five six two fifty. One five six two five zero. On the top, menu. hit menu. Back down to delete channel because we need to delete the preset. There we go. Delete hit channel. menu zero zero five. We need to enter it. Confirmed. Confirmed. Done. Fantastic. Then down to memory channels, save it. Memory channel. Memory channel, little arrow there indicates where you are at. Then 005, that's the one we want to save. Receiving menu. Click menu again, receiving menu, uh, memory. And that's all done. So really so simple this radio, and that is literally it. So that's on the frequency. That is how to program that. It is so simple. Any questions or anything, uh, give me a shout and I'll, I'll show you how to do it. But the 2399, that is, believe it or not, a nearly completely waterproof. You can put that, fully submerge it in water for 30 minutes up to a metre in depth. But the reality is, if you fall in in a kite and you need to use that, you're going to have it above water because you're talking. So it's not going to be submerged for any length of time. I believe that's all you need. That is, it's just as strong. I think it's a five, I think it's five watt radio, I believe. And you can have it on different transmitting power. So if you have a look, if you want to save battery, let's have a little look. Try, uh, tr try and find transmitting power. Oh yeah, when you're doing the band, it'll already be this, but it needs to be on VHF. Transmitting mode, let's have a look. Oh, I don't know, I haven't really looked at this yet, but loads of stuff you can do. Uh, you can change the... Language on it. Yeah, loads of stuff. Change the squelch. Uh, voice English. Oh, there's so many menus. It's, it's unreal. TXP. There you go. TXP. That's transmitting power. So you can change it. Look, mid, low. Obviously, that's gonna you're gonna use less battery in low. So if you're out on the seawater and you're just really talking locally, you can put it in low. It keeps you. But I'm gonna keep it in high. And then again, if you want to save it, it's confirm. confirm it. Really easy, simple. But yeah, well, I can't read so much more. There's a nice, strong, strong light there. Hold it down; it does a noise. Um, it's just, it's just so simple. There's nothing, 
complicated on that is you know push the tool there oh we're back on fm now accidentally clicked it you got that's the torch look just click that bottom one middle one rather nope it is the bottom just it's so yeah it's so simple you turn that off yeah, you can just change the bands there yeah so simple what i it's such a good radio for the price and uh yeah, there we go. So that's how to program a Bofeng UV9R+. Well, thank you for watching the video. I hope that's helped you program your new radio. Um, if you were looking at radios and how they might work, I will link the eBay description below. I will link the, U, the VHF uh, channel, uh, website below where it tells you all the channels uh, and the frequencies so you can program this radio yourself any questions just throw them over uh, thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and uh, enjoy the rest of your day if you're watching in the evening have a nice evening take care see you later